Remember my first video on this channel? You don't? That's okay. In that video, I told you how to create prompts for me journey using ChatGPT. But after only two months on AI market, there are so many options, so many competitors of me journey that you don't even know what to choose, such as Leonardo AI, Playground AI, new stable diffusion models, and others. Which hints that I think it's time to get off the needle of me journey, save money on monthly subscription, and start using another service. And of course, in order not to waste time on writing prompts, I thought that I should create new ChatGPT bot that will write perfect prompts for all platforms based on stable diffusion, just in a few clicks. And as you can understand, I created such a bot. Hi everyone, this is Steel17, I'm a musician, producer and part-time designer who has been in this field for more than 8 years. And today I will share with you my new ChatGPT bot, my new ChatGPT prompt for stable diffusion that in a few clicks can generate high-quality commercial images for applications like Leonardo AI, Stable Diffusion, Playground AI, and other text-to-image generators based on Stable Diffusion. I will show you how to do it, I will share you my prompt, I will share you my experience, my tips, and my tricks. I think it will be short, but super interesting video. So are you ready? Let's get started. But before we jump to our AI activity, I will ask you to hit the like on this video and subscribe to this live channel, so not to miss other videos about the AI and design topics. Your likes, your comments always support the channel, support me, and I can understand that this type of content is interesting for you. So it only takes you one click and I'll be super happy with that. So thank you for your attention, enjoy watching, and we can start. No kidding. Let's get started. So let's first understand what the difference between Midjourney and other text-to-image generators. Right now, you can choose between several big AI text-to-image models, but only two leaders, two competitors own the whole AI art market. That's Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. You know, in AI market, they have become like an Apple with their iOS and the Google with their Android. Midjourney was the first application where developers were able to optimize prompt writing for average user making it more user friendly. You didn't have to understand the hundred settings, choose the right AI model to generate images, do fine tuning and so on. Midjourney was really the only solution on the market where you could, without much knowledge, come in and generate some images in a good quality and even for free when it just started. But like I said, things have changed and now stable diffusion based applications thanks to millions of users can get give me journey head start while providing user-friendly interface and more interesting features. But still, with all these similarities, the engines of me journey and stable diffusion are kinda different. This also applies to the prompt for generating images. For example, in me journey you won't see this feature like negative prompt or maybe brackets in a prompt for prioritizing the task and much more. So for this video, especially for you, I created new ChatGPT bot that writes prompts specifically for application based on stable diffusion engine. Don't worry, you don't need to install anything. You don't need to know how to use stable diffusion. You don't need to know how to use ChatGPT. Everything is elementary and can be done just in one minute in few clicks. So guys, let me show you how it works. So all you have to do is follow the link on the description or pin comment on a Google document called ChatGPT Stable Diffusion Prompt Generator. So here you can find my prompt for ChatGPT and generating prompt. So what you have to do is just to copy the first prompt for ChatGPT. Copy it, then just paste it into the new dialog with ChatGPT. Paste it and now we wait. So we're waiting for the response. Thank you for providing the details, information about the prompt. So here it is. And so how to generate the prompt for images? That's super easy. Just go back to the Google document again. And here you will find generating prompt. This is the prompt like a helper for your image generation. So copy it and paste it to the ChatGPT dialog. So now what you need to do is change the information in the brackets, style of image, and objects and action in the image. So it's super easy. Let's say, for example, realistic image of, of a middle age western, for example, cowboy on the desert background. So and what we get, write me a prompt for a realistic image of middle age western cowboy on the desert background using Leonardo AI prompt formula. And let's see if it works. Just press enter 
and wait for a response. Still waiting for the response. It's no time to lagging, bro. It's no time to be baggy, bro. God damn, what's going on? Oh, nice network error. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go, buddy. So now what we can see, he is writing the main prompt and negative prompt. So we get our prompt and now let's see if it works or not. I will check all my prompts in Leonardo AI. This is application that I'm using right now. And I think this is the best text to image generator based on stable diffusion at the moment. So what we can do, just copy, copy the main prompt. Let's go to Leonardo AI, just paste our prompt, add negative prompt and copy the second prompt from the chat gpt negative prompt i'm gonna leave all settings i'm not gonna change anything like dream shaper version 7 dynamic with negative prompt so let's click generate and what we will get okay that works and look at this really high detailed really nice image really like commercial photo like in 3d and hyper realistic style so kind of like it kind of like it the desert on the background the cowboy himself in the head so this is a good image a good image not gonna lie but now let's make it a little bit complicated okay for example we can ask our chat gpt to generate three prompts at once and also let's set more clear and complex parameters what we want to see in the image so for example let's copy our generating prompt again paste into chat gpt and yeah guys i don't want to waste your time so let me make a video a little bit faster so that's how it looks right now. Write me three prompts for a highly detailed portrait of female Greek god concept in 3D and painting style using Leonardo AI prompt formula. Click on the send message. Thanks God it's not lagging. So as you can see, he's writing right now the first prompt. It's a main prompt. As you can see, the negative prompt and the second prompt just for the second image. That's easy, guys. That's how we're working. So copy these prompts. And so now let's make it a little bit more complicated, as I said. So we can um, change ratio parameters, but okay, fuck it. Uh, let's see, let's make this anima style, uh, negative prompt and yeah, why not? Just click on generate button. Let's see what we can get. Waiting, waiting again. And that's it guys. Look at this. God damn, this is a really masterpiece. This is a really work of art. It took me about like a one minute to generate this without writing prompt, without thinking about the idea, it's all was made by ChatGPT. And now I can just go to the ChatGPT, take the second prompt, take the first prompt, and I will get like four images just in a few minutes. That's it. That's easy. Now we can save these images, edit them if you want, maybe in the Photoshop, maybe in the Canva. We can upscale them, of course, and upload them on the art station or maybe Adobe stock, wherever you want. That's very, very simple. As I said, guys, just elementary. And this is how I've been generating my images for sale on stock sites lately. Now you have everything to simplify your workflow and most importantly, save some money on the Me Journey subscription. By the way, if you want to know more tips, more tricks about how to save money, and how to earn money more on the AI art, you can check my last video by the link somewhere here or in the description or pinned comment. And yeah, to answer the main question about the ChatGPT bot, about the prompt generation if ChatGPT start responding you strangely or gives you such an errors like it was in the video or start generating incorrect prompts maybe just the main prompt without negative prompt just create a new chat guys and start the process again you should understand that ChatGPT free you know is a bit dumb and sometimes it's difficult for him to handle this such a large prompt but yeah guys you're welcome to use it create more content make more money on AI art i hope this video was interesting was helpful for you write in the comments what do you think who is cooler me journey or stable diffusion i'm really interested in your opinion and like as always it was still 17 see you the next week bye and yeah guys who don't watch my news video that's cringe that's cringe i don't want to talk with you i don't want to. so go and watch the news video Okay, I don't want to do it, but let's do it. Let's do it.